have had many requests from coaches throughout the nation in regard to basketball as it is played here at the University of Kentucky. We have no magic formula, but we do have some sound fundamental drills and some very excellent plays. By following these carefully, it has enabled us to produce three national championship teams in the past four years. I'm sure that if other coaches will follow these drills and these plays shown in this film, that they may not always have a championship team, but they will certainly have a team that will give an excellent performance day after day. One of the important fundamentals is the push pass. Notice wrists, fingers, and the follow through. In the bounce pass, the ball should hit floor about a foot in front and to side of guarding player and about five feet from receiver. Notice how the body weight flows forward during the execution of a pass. In executing the baseball pass, put entire body into throw. The left foot is advanced in a forward step and follow through is essential for accuracy and speed. Notice again the extended fingers and the whipping motion of the throwing arm. This is a semi-hook pass from the side with the right arm fully extended. This enables the passer to extend the ball as far as possible from an opponent. In executing the set shot, keep feet together, left foot ahead, back straight, eyes concentrated on front rim of basket. Bring ball up along abdomen and chest and release it with a snap when it reaches a height above the eyes. Dribble in, stop, and use high jump. At height of jump, player finishes shot by full extension of shooting arm above head, slightly pushing ball as it leaves the hand. Watch position at height of jump. The overhand shot is excellent for distances of not more than 20 feet. It is made with the right foot advanced, ball held just in front of right shoulder, and the shot is made by extending the right arm with complete follow-through of arm, wrist, and fingers. For the free throw, raise the ball forward and upward with full extension of arms. At final movement, English is given the ball by a full extension of wrists and fingers. This shot may be made from the pivot position or from a run. The most common use is a quick pivot shot by a shooter or pivot man who has received the ball close to the basket and who has his back toward the basket. For the hook shot, the ball is held just about waist high. The pivot man steps out with his right foot, pivoting on it, and springing into the air, bringing the ball up over his head with a full arm extension. Wrist and fingers complete the follow through and give the necessary control. This move is designed to keep the body of the pivot man between his opponent and the ball. He takes a dribble sliding back to the basket with feet apart and should not cross his legs until in the act of shooting. This is the same as the previous fundamental with a change in direction. In the forward flip, the guard bounce passes to the forward who in turn hands off to the guard cutting on the outside. Guard then dribbles into the basket for shots. A guard must be an excellent ball handler with great speed and should reach the basket with only one dribble. The guard hook is very effective. The guard bounce passes to the forward and cuts outside, taking a handoff from the forward. The forward cuts across foul line to basket and takes a hook pass from the guard.
To execute the forward hook, the guard bounce passes to the forward, cuts outside of him, driving for the basket. The forward takes one dribble into the foul line and passes to the guard using a left-hand hook. This drill is called a forward pivot. The guard bounce passes to the forward and cuts around the outside. The forward takes one dribble to the foul line, making a full pivot on his left foot, and returns pass to the guard, who shoots. To execute the back block, the guard passes to the forward, who quickly returns pass. The forward follows his pass, rolling off the defensive man and cutting for the basket. The guard, upon receiving the return pass, fakes to his right, then takes one dribble left, and baseball passes to the forward who shoots. The double five is one of the best running and passing drills that Kentucky has. This drill develops accurate passing and ball handling and also develops correct timing in the players. Kentucky considers the guard around play the best fundamental ball handling drill that she has found. The guard must be an excellent ball handler and have speed. The guard should always play in a driving position. He should run in a straight line to the basket. The guard passes to the forward and goes inside. The forward then passes to the center and screens for the second guard, who cuts off him, taking a pass from the center and shooting. This is a beautiful system of play, and it gives all the ingredients necessary for action. For it brings into being lightning passes, fast breaks, running, change of direction, screens, and superb ball handling. This is a variation of the guard around play, not using the pivot man. It can be clearly seen that Kentucky depends a great deal on her guards being equally as good scoring threats as the setters and forwards. The guard passes the ball to the forward, screens for the second guard, and hands off to the second guard, who goes in to take the shot. With speed, careful ball handling, and elimination of false moves and passes, play number 6A works when run against opposition. Play number five is an example of inviting the third man or pivot man into the play. First guard passes to second guard, who in turn passes to the pivot man. The two guards cross and break off the pivot man, who passes off to either guard who is open. Mastery of detail in passing and running is essential to make this play click when played against opposition. There is no guesswork in play number two. Every man knows what to do every moment and can run through this play with machine-like precision. Guard passes to forward. Guard then goes outside taking a handoff from the forward. Guard pivots, passes into center, and screens for the forward who has taken two steps forward and reversed to the outside. The center passes to the forward who is the shooter. 
speedy footwork and well-timed passing, with every man knowing where he is to go, makes play number two work when run against opposition. Play number four demonstrates again how Kentucky depends a great deal on her guards being equally as good scoring threats as the centers and forwards. The guard passes to the forward and goes inside. The forward then takes one dribble and passes to the center. The other forward cuts forward and rolls, screening for the other guard who used this screen, cutting outside, taking pass from center and shooting. And again, this play number four is completed with a score when run against opposition. Notice the timing and passing in play number 10. Watch the forward screen for the guard and other forwards. There are no false moves and the play is run with perfection. First guard passes to second guard who passes to forward and goes outside taking a handoff from forward. The forward then crosses the floor and screens. After first guard receives the handoff, he takes one dribble and passes to second guard, who takes the shot. Here is the play against opposition. It works. In play number eight, we have examples of the correct execution of dribbles, pivots, passes, and fast footwork. The guard takes one or two dribbles, pivots, and passes to the center and cuts off him, trailed by a forward who screens for the second guard. The center then hands off to the second guard who takes the shot. From play number eight and the preceding plays, the Kentucky offense is built. Kentucky's system of play is built upon the proper execution of fundamentals, the elimination of false moves and passes, and speed on a set or delayed offensive. This is the first of three examples on penetrating zone defenses. Passes from guard to forward to guard to second guard to second forward to center. Second forward cuts for basket, collapsing defense to give center the shot from corner. Penetrating the zone defense against opposition. Another example of penetrating a zone defense passes from guard to forward to guard to second guard to second forward to center. Second forward cuts for basket, collapsing the defense. The ball goes back to second guard who has taken the original position of the second forward and he shoots. Against opposition, the collapsing of the defense is effective. This is an attack against zone with a man on the pivot. Passes from guard to forward, back to guard, to second guard, to second forward, to center, cutting from corner, and drop ball in basket. The important thing about attacking every zone defense is that the passes should be made quickly, accurately, and be well-timed, and the cutting should be made at top speed. This pivot man side screen is an attack against the man-to-man -man defense. Guard passes to forward and cuts inside of him. Forward takes one dribble and passes to second forward, who has been screened for by the center. The second forward takes the shot. There is no defense against good ball handling, and this applies to any kind of zone defense.
The fast break is effective because it enables a team to score before the defense has had an opportunity to get set. Therefore, it is not necessary for a team to always work through a completely organized defense. A fast break, if used properly, will tend to discourage the well-organized attack. It has been a pleasure to show you exactly the plays and drills that we use here at the University of Kentucky. It'll be necessary for you to run these plays and drills hundreds of times in order to get the perfect timing that we have shown. We believe in this brief showing of basketball situations that it will enable you to solve almost all problems that you will face during your season of play.